Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel. This is the Fan TV. Back at another video. Like the content in this video. Go ahead, smash that like button. Like the content on this channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Uh, some more Ravens news came out today. So I just want to share the news with you guys. Keep you updated. As the Ravens did a couple things today. Now, first, uh, the, the signing of Demarcus Robinson is now official. We already talked about doing this channel. Uh, Against expectations for Demarcus Robinson, you know, he'll, he'll be a solid receiver, whether that's two, three, whatever. He'll be a solid receiver for this team. Um, and yeah, that's what I expect. You know, kind of reminds me when the Ravens signed a guy like a, a Willie Sneed or or a Seth Roberts. Obviously, Willie Sneed was more effective than Seth Roberts was. So hopefully, it's something more along on that end, and uh, he can provide some things for the team. All right. Now, also, the Ravens had to make six roster moves today to get their active roster down to 80 players. So this is the moves that they did. The first one, uh, they had to put they put they put Gus Edwards on a reserve pup list. Now, Gus Edwards is automatically going to miss the first four games of the season. He'll be eligible to come back uh, week five. So he's going to miss us when we play the entire AFC East. He's going to miss all four of those games. He'll be back week five, which is something that you could see coming. When J.K. came back and the talk on Gus was that, you know, he's just not there yet. He's just not there yet. It was leaning towards a situation like this where it was just going to be like, all right, well, we're just going to have to hold him until he's better prepared. We're probably going to have to put him on the pup list. And that's what happened, man. So that, that's what happened with Gus Edwards, okay? So they did cut five players. Now, they cut Slade Bolden, uh, Bailey Gaither, and surprisingly, um, Jalen Moore, a wide receiver. They also caught, uh, also cut, excuse me, offensive line, uh, Jared Jones-Smith, and inside linebacker, Diego Fago. All right. Um, now, Jalen Jalen Moore was, I think, the surprise cut out of these five players. Just because, now listen, he's. I think he got cut because for two reasons, right? He was quiet in the preseason games, which is when the time where you needed to make the most noise. He was doing really well in practices, making plays, going over top of people. And he even caught a pass from Lamar Jackson in practice, right? So that means he was working um, not always with the second team. He's working with the first team sometimes as well. Um, so I think he got cut because this in the preseason, he didn't bring that same... Um, he didn't have that same opportunity he had to practice in the preseason. You know, the catches wasn't there. Separation wasn't there. Uh, so it just happened like that for Jalen Moore, unfortunately. The second reason, I think, is they cut him early in the process, you know, so he can go find another team to play for. I think Jalen Moore will end up on somebody's roster. I think he's a good enough player for that, uh, whether that's a practice squad or, or somebody's fifth, sixth receiver. I don't know. But I think the Ravens, I'm not going to say did him a favor by cutting him because, you know, they still cut the guy. But... They did it early in the process. He can go find a team with more time before the season starts. All right. Now, that's that's it for the players. That, that's that's the sixth roster move. So five players cut Gus on the reserve pup list. So now the Ravens are down to 80 players. So they're all good there. Um, now, they did practice today. Uh, Demarcus Robinson practiced today. Uh, great news. Tyler, Tyler Wallace is back. Even better news. Um, Tyler Lindenbaum is back. Right, so Tyler Linderbaum is back. That's big. Uh, week one in a couple weeks, you know, he gets to get some more chemistry with Lamar. That's great. So I'm glad that he's back and ready to go, or well, at least he's getting in the process of being ready to go. Uh, Tyler Wallace being back is great too because you know he's he's going to need to earn the place. He's going to need to earn the spot. Um, I'm not going to say he's he's on the verge of getting cut, but you know some guys that play good. You know, the Ravens have four, in my opinion, four solidified receivers as far as this roster goes. And we know that's going to be Bateman, Robinson, uh, Prochet, Duvernay. That fifth guy is, you know, Tylen Wallace is, is in that scrap of, you know, is he going to make it? All right. Um, now, some guys who uh, uh, did not practice today. Um, James Prochet is not back yet. Uh, unfortunately, Ronnie Stanley is not back yet. Um, Jalen Armour Davis still was out with the head injury. He had a might be a concussion. I'm not sure. Uh, and Pepe Williams did not practice. Now Pepe Williams, obviously he just played in the game, so I don't know if that's a rest thing or what. Uh, there was no injury designation on Pepe, so unless someone gets released later, um, I, he could just be out for because of rest. Now Ronnie Stanley not being back is it's a little disappointing because we're getting close to that time where Harbaugh said that. You know, you want to get these guys two, three weeks of practice before you throw them out there week one. You know, we're getting kind of close to that. I mean, today is, you know, August 23rd. So September 11th, about two and a half weeks. 
You know, he, he's getting close. He's getting close to missing those first couple games. If that's what they have to do to keep Ronnie Stanley, Ronnie Stanley healthy, though, I'm all for it. Just because we saw what happened last year. Uh, he came back faster than he needed to. He wasn't ready. Ended up getting hurt playing one game and missed the rest of the season. So we don't need a repeat of that. He doesn't need a repeat of that. So I understand why they, they're being cautious with him. Uh, Dale Armour Davis, I hope he can get back on the field soon, you know. Uh, Pepe Williams is playing really well, so I want to see what Jalen Armour Davis could do out there as well. So, we'll, you know, hopefully he can get back um, out there. So that's pretty much the Ravens news for today. Uh, we'll see what happens in, you know, the coming days and um, with more news, maybe some guys returning to practice. We'll see if a guy like Prochet comes back this week. Hey, we'll see if maybe Ronnie Stanley is back this week as well. We don't know. But, um, but that's the news for today. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan of TV. I'm out.